Here are seven rules of gym etiquette you should follow if you want to display basic human decency while you're at the gym, and if you don't care about that, then at least you'll know that you're better than everyone else while you're getting jacked. It shocks me to see how many people don't know these things or just blatantly ignore them, even though they may have been going to the gym for months or even years. If we've never met before, my name is Mateo. I've lost 50 pounds now twice in my life, and I've spent the last eight years helping guys lose fat and get in shape using a simplified approach. If you've seen my videos before, welcome back. Let's jump right into this first point, which is that you should put your weights away when you're finished with them. It is the most basic rule of gym etiquette out there, and that's why many gyms will even display a plaque or a sign saying, Please re-rack your weights when you're finished with them. It's the simplest thing you can do that makes such a huge difference. And if you really wanna take this to the next level, you can put other things away in between your sets while you're resting that you didn't use even in your workout. If you know where things go in your gym and you come into the gym and it's a mess, in between your sets of bench press, you can pick things up and put them away, put the bands back on the hooks where they go and re-rack other people's plates that they may have left all over the place. It helps you hit your step goal, it'll help you burn more calories, and when people see you doing this consistently, it creates a knock-on effect, and suddenly your gym just becomes much cleaner. Be the change you wanna see in the world, my friend. How frequently this second rule is broken really displays that common sense is not a flower that grows in every garden, because the gym is just a public place like any other, and you wouldn't go into a public place and just be ignorant of the people around you. So I encourage you to just be mindful when you're in the gym that other people are using that same shared space as you. I want this to cover all the basic stuff that I shouldn't really have to say, but I have to say it anyways. Like not leaving your gym bag and your Gatorade bottle and your training log and your sweater and everything all over the place. Keeping your music at a reasonable volume in your headphones is also a good idea because maybe not everyone loves listening to Shania Twain as much as you do. Same thing with your phone calls, probably best to keep them brief or take them outside unless you really wanna discuss your personal life publicly with everyone else in the gym around. Basic hygiene also falls into this category, so it's probably a good idea to wear clean clothes, use your shower at home, ideally with soap and water, wear deodorant when you go to the gym, and maybe avoid wearing perfumes or body sprays because the whole gym doesn't need to know what you smell like. You just want to smell good, not great. Okay, look, this last one, I do a little bit of this too, grunting and moaning in your workouts. I mean, come on, sometimes it's involuntary, I get it, you're training hard, maybe you're squatting, you're, you're standing up and you accidentally activate your vocal cords instead of just exhaling, and it happens. But let's just keep it reasonable. I don't wanna hear you like, uh, 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 uh. Shouldn't sound like a tennis match is going on in there. I get that, you know, maybe you train at a hardcore gym and people are screaming and moaning and grunting, but come on, man. This third one isn't just about having respect for the people around you, but also for the person who owns your gym. Gym equipment is very expensive and the building and its foundation are also very expensive. So I want you to avoid dropping weights when you're in the gym, especially when it's just completely unnecessary. If you're incline pressing the 55 pound dumbbells, you can just bring them down to your knees and put them on the ground instead of just dropping them from a height and letting them fall on the floor. It's an easy way to damage the floor and damage the equipment unnecessarily when you could just put it down gently. Same thing with the machines. You don't need to drop the cable row and let the weight fall down and slam on the stack when you could just slowly lower it and control it down. Again, guys, we're sharing the equipment and it belongs to someone just because you're paying to rent it doesn't mean you get the right to destroy it. Number four should be common sense for anyone with some basic social skills, but here's a little reminder for the lizard people out there watching. When you are at the dentist office, you're at the grocery store or at the gym, you need to give people their personal space. Don't linger close to them in a way that makes them uncomfortable, especially if they're doing lateral raises or they're doing an exercise like squatting. You need to give them space for them to feel comfortable like they're not gonna bump into you. And ideally, if you can help it, try to avoid walking in front of people when they're training, especially if they're looking in the mirror and trying to focus on their technique or something like that. This also includes spotting people. If someone wants you to spot them, they will come and ask you for a spot. I'm not talking about like emergency jumping in and helping someone who's trapped under a barbell. That's different. But recently I saw a video, I think it was GVS. He's doing an incline dumbbell press and he starts struggling on the last rep. And this dude just jumps in and starts helping him get the rep up. It was ridiculous. Like I've literally never seen that happen until I saw that video, but I'm sure it does happen everywhere. So here's your reminder. Don't spot people unless they ask you to do it. Speaking of doing things that people did not ask you to do is number five. Do not give unsolicited advice in the gym. If you go up to someone and you start telling them that they're training incorrectly or that they could be doing something better or differently or how you like to do it, man, come on, you're making a lot of assumptions about that person. You're making assumptions about their injury and training history. You're making assumptions about their training goals and maybe some workarounds that they're working through. 
I mean, come on, like you, you just don't know. And do you really have that good of advice to share with this person, despite having no context on who they are, what they're training for, or what they've been doing? And I'll hear people give the excuse of, well, I saw him lifting in a way that was unsafe. And the truth is that there are not a lot of things that are inherently unsafe to do in the gym. Outside of extreme cases, like the equipment is not set up correctly, or it's maybe damaged and, and the person didn't know about that, there's really just not that much going on. But people feel like they have an idea of what's unsafe, like deadlifting with a rounded back. And so they want to go up and display their expertise and save that person from injury when really they just don't know any better. But interacting with other people at the gym is not always a bad thing, which leads us to number six, which is to ask to use a piece of equipment when it's in use. You can always approach someone and say, hey, how many sets do you have left? Do you mind if I work in with you or we take turns on that machine? If a person's been sitting on the leg extension for a while and you've been watching them and you're like, ah, I gotta get those leg extensions in, but you know, I don't wanna wait for them to finish. It looks like they're gonna be a while. Just approach them and say, hey, you know, do you have any more sets left? Can I work in with you? Can we take turns on that machine? And odds are they'll say, oh, I have one left or yeah, go ahead. You can work in and I have a few more sets left. It's just way nicer than when they stand up to check their phone. You just slide in and sit down on the leg extension machine and start doing your reps. It's common courtesy to ask. And if you're gonna ask someone how many sets they have left or if you can take turns on that machine, it's best to just wait until they're finished their set. And if you wanna take this one to the next level, if you are using a piece of equipment or a machine and you can see that someone's kind of hovering and watching you and waiting for you to be done, it's worth being courteous and just taking your headphone out if you have them in and asking the person, hey, are you looking to use this machine? Come on in, you can work in with me. I have X amount of sets left, or I just have one left, I'm almost done. And the last piece of etiquette I wanna mention is to not lift in front of the dumbbell rack area. It's a high traffic area where people are going to be locomoting and moving heavy weights from point A to point B. It's not designed for lifting, it's designed for picking up dumbbells and putting them back where they went. So once you pick up your dumbbells, take them over to your station or your bench or wherever you're using them, and do your exercise where you aren't gonna be in the way. And then pick up your dumbbells, bring them back, put them down, clean them, and then leave. I should also mention that wiping down your equipment when you're done with it is considered basic courtesy in many gyms. And a lot of them will have spray bottles with a cleaning solution and towels available so you can wipe the sweat off the equipment when you're finished with it. This has become increasingly common, especially after COVID and the pandemic, but some gyms just aren't really into cleaning things and wiping things down. In which case, if that were my gym, I would probably bring a personal towel for myself to lay down on equipment because I'm a sweaty bastard and I leave the bench soaking wet when I'm finished doing bench press or something like that. And that's just gross for other people. So if your gym has disinfectant and cloths, just spray your stuff down when you're finished with it and wipe it down. I'm curious, is there a pet peeve of yours that's something people do at the gym that you feel like should just be basic human courtesy that maybe I missed? Leave a comment below in the comment section letting us know so we can avoid being the asshole unnecessarily without knowing it. In any case, thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel so I can see you in the next one. Peace.